Now I've been tinkering with a lot of farming strategies with this new league and today I have found this brand new strategy which is extremely amazing. There's not a lot of selling as everything you'll get will be bubblegum currency and the investment is quite high but after you buy the first set of investments you will keep making a profit and I've been making around 60 to 100 chaos profit per map. This farm works by forcing strong boxes to spawn a specific monster from all flames and this monster is from the all flame of manifested wealth. If you don't know this all flame monster pack drops so much chaos and even exalted orbs frequently and this is what we're going to be farming. You can see from the footage the amount of chaos orbs that we'll be finding. We'll be combining so much strong boxes and chance to open strong boxes again as the all flame monsters do appear in strong boxes. They aren't always guaranteed to be in them but the chance of them being there is very high and this is actually how we keep our profits up. I have ran the strat but I haven't seen any divine so I don't think it does drop but if someone gets a divine from the manifesto wealth creatures then let me know in the comments. Now for the investments. The first thing you want to buy is the all flame ember of manifested wealth. This is obviously the most important part and I recommend running yellow maps as the monster level 68 to 78 are quite cheap. If you are looking to buy one that is 79 plus those will probably be very more expensive about 100k or more. So you get the ones that are under 78 as they're quite cheap. Now for the scabs you want to invest in you want to get the amber scarab of hidden compartments 50% chance for your strong boxes in area to be openable openable again and yeah as you can read it it just means that we have a chance to open the chest again and potentially have another set of manifested wealth monsters and the second one the most important one is ambush scarab containing five additional strong boxes this is very important to get a lot more profit now for the last two if you already have four slots i recommend either Domination Scarab, more Shrines, or Scarab of Monstrous Lineage, which is increased magic pack size. I've tested both of them and they have the same results and I don't even know if they actually affect it or not. But my personal go-to is the Shrines. And the last bit of investment is our map device and we'll be using the Amber Ambush map device for another five additional strong boxes. Now for our Atlas tree, I went down here just to see if the 5% increase effect actually affects Manifested Wealth. But for our tree, I'm getting more map nodes, trying to get the monstrous treasure. And so firstly, we want to get your map contains an additional strong box, uh, these nodes. We then want to grab shrines, scarabs, go in here and then go up here to grab tamper proof and secret compartments. Once we get that, we also want to grab these shrine nodes as well as the quality tree. I am missing a point but you want to get this one as well. I went up here, grabbed Amplified Artifacts as well as Chiseled Perfection. And last things I did was grab all the Strongbox nodes. It doesn't really matter which Strongbox we get, we just want any of them. I took additional Shrine nodes, Covetous Shrine, the last Invasive Adversaries, and then Remarkable Relics. So I'm just trying to get as many Shrines, Strongboxes, and effects of stuff in our maps. It's quite a simple tree, it's just a weird shrine strong box strategy. I want to show you guys the profit of 10 maps. Yeah, only 10. And there we go. Ignore these red maps, uh, I forgot to clear them up. But here we go, we have 1446 chaos orbs, 54 exalted orbs and 404 vile orbs. And for 25 maps, I'll show you guys a spreadsheet, 25 maps. Manifest wealth strategy. So, as you can see, I bought them at 175 chaos per set. I have actually elevated this by 25. I've actually spent 150. So if it was 150, I would have made that, but trying to take into account the price change 175, 94 chaos profit per map. In 25 maps, I made total 7,000 chaos and profited. 2300 and I've invested 4000 or nearly 5000. It's a very easy strat. You don't need a really overpowered character. You're literally killing one shot ball creatures that don't do damage to you. And yeah, no divines. I didn't get a single divine. So I don't think the strategy can get divines from the chaos orbs. That was the chaos head orbs or whatever they're called. And but yeah, 7000 chaos total. 
Now for things you want to avoid, rituals, if you kill monsters in rituals, especially the manifested wealth, they do spawn in the rituals, but they do not actually drop anything. So that doesn't really work. And trust me, I've tried it and it just doesn't work at all. And another thing I picked up is don't use more than one old flame, especially one more old flame that drops currency, like for example, tainted currency or abyss jewels, etc. Because I've seen less of manifested wealth monsters appearing in the strong boxes. So now to sell it, obviously we can just, it's bubblegum currency, it's chaos orbs, we don't really need to sell it. But with fire orbs, if you want, you can either turn them into chaos orbs or divine orbs by using the bolt trade and pewe dot trade. Or, and we can also use the exalts to turn them into divines too. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and thank you patrons. This was really fun to find and test. With the old flames, there are a lot of potential, so I'm hoping that the other content creators can also find new strategies and ways to make more money for there. Anyway, I appreciate all the positive comments down below and like, comment, subscribe and do whatever. I'll be seeing you later this week. Thank you.